Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. In this video today, I'm going to introduce a company that hasn't been around for very long. Founded in 2018 and listed on the ASX in November 2021. This company is quite small with a market cap around about 15 million, 10 to 15 million, depending on when you are watching this video, unless the share price has gone on a recent tear. And that company is called Biome Australia. Very important to have that last word, Australia, because as I found out today, there's another company called simply Biome. And that company, that other company, has been around for about 20 years. So make sure you do distinguish between those two companies. They are completely different companies. So what exactly does Biome Australia do? Now, this company develops, manufactures, and distributes activated probiotics, activated nutrients, and AXP, which happens to be activated X performance, which is made exclusively for professional athletes. But by far, the largest range of products this company does have or provide is activated probiotics. And they do have a large range of probiotics, including Biome Daily, to help enhance immune system function and promote healthy digestion. Biome Her, to help maintain a healthy vaginal microbiome. Biome Daily Kids, to help reduce the occurrence and duration of common colds. Biome Lift, to support healthy mood balance and enhance sleep quality, Biome Baby to help support digestive and immune health in infants. Not only do they have a wide range of different probiotic products, they are actually increasing the amount of products they're having. In fact, in quarter four, they launched three products, Biome Recovery, Biome Lax, and Biome Dental. And they don't mention Biome Dental here, but really interesting in Biome Dental. How? Can probiotics help me with my teeth? Not only does this company provide and manufacture, distribute activated probiotic products, they also have clinical trials, which I found really fascinating. So they have three clinical trials that they did mention, Biome Lift with La Trobe University, Biome Kids with Federation University, and Biome Osteo with La Trobe University. And trial completed in Biome Lift, they also have recruitment completed in Biome Kids and recruitment underway in Biome Osteo. So this company has a lot going for it. My only question is, how much demand is there out there in the marketplace for all these different types of probiotics? And based off the increase in cash receipts, there's actually a lot of demand out there. Now, I'm just going to go over a couple of the products they are launching or will be launching in the fourth quarter. And both of these products are of interest to me. Biome Dental Probiotic. Now, I do go to the dentist every six months, and I would like some way to make sure my teeth are healthy because a healthy uh, dental system, whatever you want to call it, is actually really good for our long-term health. So this Biome Dental Probiotic helps support dental health and a healthy oral microbiome. Now, I am a little bit skeptical that these sort of products will work, but there is definitely a market out there. 6.3 billion live bacteria in this particular product. And the other product I'm actually interested in is their Biome Recovery Probiotic, because I run every single day, except for a few days where I might just do a bit of walking. But I run every single day. And because I'm getting older and older, my body is... Um, recovering slower and slower. So Biome Recovery Probiotic helps reduce muscle inflammation and recovery time following exercise. So I could definitely see myself um, maybe even thinking about buying this product. I'm not sure if I will, but just thinking about it and wondering if this could help me and my non-sedentary lifestyle. Now onto a few facts in regards to this company. Founded in 2018 and listed on the ASX on the 30th of November, 2021. So again, it hasn't been around long. And to be honest with you, uh, any company listing towards the end of 2021, that was pretty bad timing. Once say they listed at the top of the market, but the majority of companies that Liz did list uh, in that sort of time period have seen a significant drop in their share price. CEO and founder is Blair Nofok, and they own 8.8% of the company. And one of the largest, other largest shareholders of the company is the CFO, uh, Chief Financial Officer Douglas Lowe. He owns 7.8%. Now, the market cap of this company is quite small or low, $12 million. That's a share price of 7.2 cents. 
And the very fact that that share or market cap has fallen uh, for the last 18 months, and that's going against what's happening with the financial state of this company, put this company onto my radar. Shares an issue 162.4 million. There is a possibility this company will have to raise more capital in the future because they are still burning through cash. And the ticker for Biome Australia is a natural BIO. Before I have a look at the March quarter results for financial year 23, let's go back to the March quarter results one year ago. In fact, this might have been their first quarter that they did release to the market. And to be honest with you, when I would have seen this particular appendix for say, I probably would have pushed it aside and not really um, wanted to do any more research on the company because receipts of customers in this one quarter, 711,000 for the year to date, only 2.7 million. And the company was burning through a fair bit of cash. And in fact, the operating cash outflow was $1.1 million in this one quarter. The only thing going for this company back then, one year ago, was a cash on hand. $6.6 million of cash, but they were burning through that. And at the rate of $1.1 million per quarter, that's about six quarters of cash they did have on hand to get them through. So more than likely, at this point in time, if I go back in time, I probably would have thought, this company probably will have to do another cup raising within the next year or year and a half. And to be honest with you, things are moving quite well for this company in terms of increase in cash receipts. This is the first thing I look for. And the main reason I am doing a video on this company is just a pretty good, reliable increase in cash receipts over the past year. So in this particular quarter, cash receipts up to $2.1 million. Close by $500,000 away from the cash receipts this company provided or created in the first nine months of financial year 22. And for the year to date, $5.1 million of receipts, almost double from the cash receipts one year ago. But unfortunately, Biome Australia is still operating cash flow negative, $398,000 in this quarter and $1.8 million for the first nine months. And that $398,000 for this current quarter was helped by $328,000 in government grants and research and development tax incentives. So if we subtract that from 398,000, the best way to look at this is that Biome Australia was uh, operating cash flow negative by about $725,000. So this company is still burning through cash. And because they are burning through cash, the cash on hand right now or at the end of the March quarter is now down to $3.1 million. But the company is growing. So the thing I always look for is increases in cash receipts. Now, the company did provide this nice little chart in their presentation looking at quality sales revenue since uh, it's a September quarter 2020. So this is longer than they've been listed on the ASX. That's why I've included this particular chart or table, whatever you want to call it, graph, in this particular video. Because if we're just looking at cash receipts or quality cash receipts, we only have about four quarters or five quarters of history. And you'll notice that uh, revenue or quality revenue have increased from $300,000 to $1.8 million. So definitely Biome Australia is growing. So there is a market for the products they are selling. But the market doesn't care about that. The market wants to see cash flow or positive cash flow and profitability. Unfortunately, Biome Australia is neither operating cash flow or free cash flow positive, nor are they profitable. And that's why the share price has been going down ever since they listed on the ASX. In fact, in the first day they listed on the ASX, share price went to a high of 14 cents. And right now, the share price is at around about 7.2 cents. So the share price has halved over the past 18 months. And you could say the share price has been in a pretty good downtrend ever since then. And the other thing to take note, not a lot of volume either. So the market is not interested in this company just yet. And that's all I have for this look, first look at Biome Australia, uh, focusing on their Appendix 4C for the March quarter, financial year 23. An interesting company that is growing. Now, I am skeptical, a little bit skeptical about the products they do have, because I do wonder, do we really need activated probiotics in our life? There are some people who believe that, and they are the people that Biome Australia is targeting to sell their products, not me at all. And at this point in time, they are being successful in driving growth of their products. So congratulations 
to buy on Australia. But I want to see the company become operating cash flow and free cash flow positive and profitable before I become interested in taking a stake in this company. If you have any thoughts, any questions about Biome Australia, I'd love to hear them, so leave them in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I am not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.